I want to share a little story for you. A few years ago, I was preaching a novena at a parish in London. It was a very multicultural parish, somewhat like here. And there, was, there were a lot of Africans from different African countries in that parish. And every single night after I preached, they would swarm by me or um, around me, somewhat like you do after every Mass. And they would say this to me, we thank your mother for having you. So the first night it was all right, but I continued saying that for nine nights. You think she's the one standing up in front of you all? At the end of the nine nights, they asked me for my mother's address. And then they sent her a card, thanking her for having me. And I was trying to figure out why on earth were they doing this? But I think the reason is obvious. They were reminding me of something very important. You may think you're a good preacher, you may think you're a superstar, but don't you dare forget that all of which you think you are would not be possible if your mother did not have you. Isn't that a good piece of coming down to earth advice for us? Isn't that why we gather on this feast? To thank our mother Mary for having Jesus. To thank our mother Mary really for all of us. Because as Pope Francis reminds us, as the church reminds us, she is our mother also, and we are her children. And Pope Francis reminds us that we're not orphans because we all have this mother the Blessed Mother as our mother. So this evening, we come to do something very simple, to thank Mary for having her son Jesus, to thank Mary for having us. I want to share a story with you. It's a very simple story, and you may have heard this. It was an anthropologist who was doing some studies with a tribe in Africa. And then he decided to do a test. And this was the test. He told the children, we're going to play a game. And so he placed a basket of sweets near a tree. And he made the children stand about 100 meters away. And then he announced to the children, whoever gets to the basket first will get all the sweets. On your mark, get set, go. Do you know what the children did? They all held each other's hands. They ran together towards the tree. And then they divided all the sweets equally among themselves. They sat together and ate it. Now when the anthropologist asked them, why did you do that? A little girl shouted out, Ubuntu. She says, I am because we are. She says, how can one be happy when the others are sad? Ubuntu. I am because we are. I think that's why we gather on this feast. Because it's a reminder to all of us that if this is our mother, then we are brothers and sisters. If you listen carefully to the gospel this evening, what does Jesus do? He's about to, to die. He's there at the, uh, at the cross, and he hands over his mother to the disciples. Woman, here is your son. Here is your mother. And right there, Jesus is given Mary to the disciples. Right there, he's, um, he's extending that understanding of community. He's creating something new. And isn't that what we're about as church? Ubuntu. I am. Because we are.
This is our mother church, and we're brothers and sisters. We're so excited of the good news that we have. Just like the Blessed Mother, she got the good news, she was pregnant, but then she ran to visit her cousin Elizabeth. She wasted no time. We have good news, what are we doing with it? Are we running to share it with others? Our Mother Mary reminds us of that fact, that if we have Christ in us, if we have the good news, we need to run and let the world know how much God loves us. God needs us to be like the Blessed Mother and to just say yes, to be obedient and to do His will so that we can make this world a better place. Just imagine her standing at the foot of the cross looking at her only child about to die. Imagine that pain. But in spite of those dark moments, she continues to say yes. She continues to trust. That's what we're called to do, church. That's the story of the Blessed Mother. It's a great feast. Our Mother of Perpetual Help. And we come here tonight to just say two simple words. Thank you. Thank you, Mary, for having us, your children. Thank you, God, for giving us the Blessed Mother so that we can have a mother. Thank you, God, for giving us your Son so that we can have Eucharist each and every day. Thank you, God, for giving us life and give us the strength and the courage to always use it to do your will. So let's go forth and give our lives a service to others without counting the costs.